Good morning. I'm editing the vlog from Friday. It's now Sunday, you know, because we don't uh, vlog on the weekend. Saturday. Yeah, that was a, just a short video of when we got attacked. Basically, Sinai has uh, people who are linked with Al Qaeda. Egypt is not attacking us, but they are Egyptian Al Qaeda, basically. Brotherhood of. Uh, oh, I forget. I, d I don't know the details. I don't watch the news, whatever. Uh, Hadar tells me, you know, because he is subscribed to an Israeli news site. So there's like a code red or some kind of channel on that news site that tells us like immediately what happened. We heard the rockets in the air and, and uh, usually what they attack us with I believe is called a grad rocket. Uh, they're not really big. When it hits it can do devastating damage but usually it doesn't hit anywhere. If it does hit, um, like 99% of the time the Iron Dome that I showed you in another vlog, uh, a military presence, um, I showed you the Navy boat going down by the Egyptian border and the um, Iron Dome. We have two Iron Domes here in our town. Basically because Egypt, you know, is having that um, revolution. And again, I don't watch the news, so you know more than I do. I'm just repeating things that I misunderstand from Adar. So don't get your information from me. We are right next to them. We're next to the Taba border for Egypt. When you hear a rocket, it's probably the most terrifying sound you could ever hear because immediately the air raid siren went off. Now, it wasn't the town air, air raid siren. It was the municipality. That's why it wasn't very loud. So we heard the rocket go up and it whistles and then we heard two explosions and that was the Iron Dome exploding the rockets in midair so uh, they don't even know where it landed they still haven't found it the Israeli army 24 7 night and day constantly watching for you know missiles and rockets so I do feel safe but I guess I am becoming a little Israeli because 30 minutes after that happened, I was able to sleep like a baby. And life just goes on, you know, you don't think about it afterwards. We've, we've been attacked this month already, uh, but before we were attacked last year, I think it was around August, but we were attacked uh, last January as well. But I think around August time we were attacked and I wasn't able to sleep because uh, we had two attacks and I heard both of them. One time the Iron Dome was not on. So uh, we actually got hit. And it is, it is pretty terrifying, actually. The most terrifying thing is the whistling rocket. Like you hear it, you hear it whistling. You know it's coming, you don't know when it's gonna land. And then you hear an explosion and you're waiting for another one. And then you hear another explosion and you don't know if that's the Iron Dome or the rocket actually landing, so yeah, it is terrifying, and you don't know, like, I'm just mapping out where the safest place to be is in the house, and I've kind of figured out that it's by the front door, <laughs> because there's two walls in between us. You know, the codes, you can't build a house without a safe room now. Our safe room is downstairs and usually has a lock on it, and I don't know who owns the lock. They were telling everybody, go to the shelter. How am I going to get in there? <laughs> Papa! Papa, good morning! You got a cat toy too! Good morning, honey! Oh, you know that's a telephone! Uh, <laughs> Did you know that telephone cords are different here than they are in the States? <laughs> you cannot use an American telephone here unless you bring an American cord and plug it into a magic jack. Cannot use any of them here. It doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. The electric is different too. And so are light bulbs. Light bulbs are different. You're cute uh, today. Hello. He's saying hello. It's a telephone. Oh. Uh, hello. Who is it? Is it Daddy? Daddy. Hadar had to go to a funeral today. A guy that Hadar works with, his dad died, so pretty much all the NCOs 
that work together, they went to the funeral today. And it was at 1, and it's about 3 right now. And it only lasted for an hour. They're going to go and get something to eat, and then they're on their way home. But it was all the way up north, so it's going to take him until about 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight to get home. Hello, is anybody there? Uh. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is anybody there? Uh. Oh. Oh. Who's it for? Oh. Uh. Yeah. 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 You gonna go play? You gonna talk to Grandma? Yes. Yeah. This is a phone for kitty. Filming with this monopod. Let's see what the baby does. Hands free. Oh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Unnecessary camera angles. <laughs> hey, Alpha. <laughs> Chicken first. <laughs> Mommy, what do you think about this? I think it's good because it's hands free, kind of. And real quick. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think it's great. No. <laughs> His feet say it all. <laughs> Your feet. <laughs> he could clap with his feet. 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 <laughs> You're a feet clapper. What you eating? And what you think of all that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's get a top view. Hello. What the top of you say? Hello. Oh my goodness. No, I include that. Hello. 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 Bro. Hello. Bro. Hello. GoPro hero. It is quite heavy. Tea. But it's handy um, though. Passion fruit mango, my favorite. Hello. <sighs> I love that stuff. In this dresser I have three drawers. One for shirts. I promised I'll do a shirt review because Andrea says I have too many. And I want to show you that I really don't. These are my Hanleys, one, two, three, I can count. These are my casual shirts, one, two, three, four. Do sports shirts. The third row, those are all shirts that I rarely use. You'll have to cut your butt out. 18 shirts, out of which I don't use. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You can cut out all the mathematics, Andrew. You got more shirts than I got. Now, some of these are too tight, because there is really. This is one of them, as you can see, it's very tight. Another Israeli Henley shirt, Columbia shirt, American shirt, Polo, American casual, Israeli sports shirt, another Israeli casual, strictly for my ninjas from a yard sale, Under Armour workout shirt, starter workout shirt. What are you doing with this? 
because it fits. This shirt is kind of big, but I'm keeping it because it's high quality. This shirt and the other red shirt I'm going to show you in a second. When I say too little, I mean it fits nice and all, but <laughs> it's too little. Crack kills. It's too little. Yeah. This is the second shirt, and as you can see, it's a little, what do you call it? Baggy. But still. Mm -hmm. Now this I've had since I was 15. Use it for workouts. Now this shirt is too tight all over here, so I'm going to give that one away. I never use it, I don't have a reason to. This is a Stewie shirt that was way too baggy. The way it's made is baggy and when it had sleeves, it was just weird looking. So I cut the sleeves. I don't ever use this one either. I don't use sleeveless shirts, basically. Okay, so you've seen it before and this is the after shot. And I just got rid of five, so. <laughs> Andrea loses. Or do I? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Have a great day, see you tomorrow. Zuzbi posus. We. Hate and spite met. There's bombs out there. It's not a bomb. It's terrorists.